ocean-going hydrofoil ships to skim over the open waters of the sea at speeds of 50 knots have moved from concept to reality with the completion of Dolphin, the world's first commercial open water hydrofoil. Forty companies from six nations participated in this international venture, a joint project of Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation and the Garrett Corporation. Blohm and Voss of Hamburg, Germany, constructed the 75-foot craft under Grumman's direction, welding the transverse framing and fastening the bottom and side plates of the all-aluminum hull with flush rivets to minimize drag. Zinc spray on the hull bottom and an epoxy paint system topside and inside protect the craft from corrosion. Drawing heavily on its own hydrofoil experience, Grumman designed, engineered, and supervised the construction, while Garrett, in addition to furnishing the autopilot, has the worldwide distributorship of the craft. For economical foil-borne operations, an engine of exceptional specific fuel consumption was required. To fill this need, a marine version of a 3,600 horsepower gas turbine aircraft engine was installed. Designed and built by Rolls-Royce of England, the Tyne engine fitted neatly into place and was connected with a unique right-angle transmission to a controllable pitch propeller. For displacement propulsion, Two Belgium-built General Motors diesel engines drive Bueller water jet units, while a third diesel engine of 75 horsepower provides 60-cycle electrical power. All engines can draw from the same integral fuel tanks and all use number two diesel fuel. The first Dolphin cruised the Elbe River at 10 knots during its hull-borne test. Because it can turn in its own length while hull-borne, it can operate in even the most crowded harbors. The fully loaded Dolphin can cruise hull-borne for 1,600 miles if required. Open sea foil-borne trials took place in the Baltic Sea. So successful were these trials of the 88 passenger version that all guarantees were met or exceeded. The overall configuration is of conventional hydrofoil design, one with a weight distribution of 70% over the main foils and 30% over the aft foil. The craft is exceptionally steady due to the unique autopilot system designed and built by the Garrett Corporation. Continuous foil-borne range is 200 miles, with fuel for 25 miles of hull-borne operation at each end of the voyage for harbor operations and docking. The first Dolphin has been delivered to Maritima Antares, a Spanish firm, and is now in commercial operation in the Canary Islands, where it operates as a surface feeder for Lufthansa Airlines 
between Las Palmas and Tenerife, a round trip run of 112 miles that it makes without refueling. Orders for two more dolphins are being negotiated, each to carry 124 passengers between Barcelona and Mallorca, over 135 miles of the Mediterranean Sea. At the same time, several military versions are being considered by allied governments. A craft of this type lends itself well to radar picket patrolling, or can be configured for use as a gunboat, for ASW work, or as a personnel carrier. In addition, exceptional stability at high speed would permit a craft of this size to launch missiles without the normal stabilization components. High priority commercial cargo configurations with payloads up to 18,500 pounds are also under consideration. As well as in space, Boeing's tradition of flight has its application. The design and manufacture of unique hydrofoils to fly through water as an airplane flies through air. For the U.S. Navy, there is the PCH High Point, a submarine chaser able to track down submarines at 40 knots, or loiter over them as need be in a leapfrog technique to match the best that underwater craft can do. And the HTC, an experimental double hull craft designed to test varying hydrofoil shapes at super cavitating speeds, perhaps 100 knots. Seeking new knowledge in the field, the company has constructed a hydrofoil boat propelled by a water jet, the Little Squirt. 